In this video, we will look at solving equations that have radicals in them, specifically odd roots. The opposite of taking a root is to do an exponent. In other words, if we have the cube root of x equals 4, we need to do the opposite of a cube root to remove the radical. The opposite of a cube root would be a third power on both sides. 4 to the third is 64, so x, our variable, would be 64. Let's take a look at some more involved problems that require us to get rid of an odd root by using an exponent. In this problem, we have a cube root of 2x minus 5. To get rid of that radical, so we can access the inside part, we do the exponent. The opposite of cube root is third power. Doing the same thing on both sides, cube root and third power will be inverses, leaving just 2x minus 5 equals 6 cubed, or 216. We can quickly solve this remaining equation by adding 5 to both sides, giving us 2x equals 221, and finally dividing by 2. x is equal to 221 over 2, or you can make that into a decimal by dividing 221 by 2 to get 110.5. Let's try another example where we get rid of an odd root by using an odd exponent. In this problem, we have a fifth root. We can get rid of a fifth root with a fifth power on both sides. Fifth power and fifth root are inverses, leaving just the 4x minus 7 equals 2 to the fifth, which is 32. We can then solve by adding 7 to both sides, and 4x is equal to 39. Finally, dividing by 4 tells us that x is equal to 39 over 4. By remembering that the opposite of a root is an exponent, we can quickly solve problems with odd roots by using exponents to clear a radical. 